Neil, just said to the manager, uh, you must be delighted to get back uh, to winning ways following that setback last week. Yeah, definitely. It was important that we um, showed a reaction, um, obviously, from the setback last weekend. Um, credit to the boys. Um, we've did that and, like I say, got another win. Um, so hopefully this is the start of another one of them runs. Tremendous reaction as well for uh, long periods out there this afternoon. You completely dominated and uh, must be disappointed in a way that it was uh, that the margin of victory was as narrow as it was. Yeah, definitely. I think we created quite a lot of chances today and on another day it could have been a lot more, but we'll take a 1-0 because at the end of the day we've got the same, uh, same result. We're in the half of the fourth round and that's the main thing. The manager had to make four changes uh, today to his starting lineup. Um, you still had the ability then to go out there, dominate a game. That must be pleasing when uh, you've got that flexibility within the squad. Um, completely. I think that it just shows the depth in our squad. Um, these people thriving to get in the team, and when they've been given the chance, they've took it with both hands, and that's important for a successful squad. And I think you can see we we've got all the makings of of something special here and hopefully we can like I say continue that and whenever anyone's called on to, to step in um, the, the, like I say no one's it doesn't seem like someone's missing it almost at tran like the transition's almost seamless and that, that happened today. One of those uh, changes of course this afternoon uh, saw Zach Clough yeah. given his debut. Uh, you've been in the game obviously a long time. Have you seen many better debuts than that? I oh, am, um, to be honest, I haven't. And like I say, I've, I've been fortunate to, to witness the Wilfred Zahars, Victor Moseses, and people like that and their debuts. And I think it's there for everyone to see. He's, he's got that something special about him. And like I say, as long as he keeps working hard and developing his game, um, He's, he's got a very bright future ahead of him. Showed real composure in the as well for his finish. Uh, that, that that was the finish of uh, of an experienced season, 30, 30 goal a season striker, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was. But like I say, it's not it's not surprising because we see him do it in training all the time, and he's got that little special thing about him where he he sees pitches nice and early and. Like I say, he's been given the chance today, he's got in that position and he's, he's literally showed, showcased his abilities, not, not just with the goal, but with his build-up play, with his strength and like I say, all the boys are absolutely buzzing for him and um, he deserves it. Adam Bogdan came back into the team today, uh, obviously he dominated for long periods but when he was called upon it again he showed his quality. I think it's fair to say you possibly got the two best keepers in the division. Yeah, um, I, I wouldn't disagree, I think like I say that's that's how hard it is for both of them, they're both pushing each other non-stop and when you've got that competition it's healthy. Um, Adam's come in today and like I say he's, he's, he's pulled out two worldy saves which where I'm looking at thinking how's he got to that um, but credit to Adam he's like I say, he hasn't come in and sulked or anything. He's he's kept working hard, and and today I thought him um, one called upon. He was fantastic. Obviously, uh, in recent times, a lot of conjecture in terms of whether or not the FA Cup still retains it, its sort of lustre. Yeah. As a player, how important is it for you? Um, the FA Cup, like I say, it's got so much history, and it can it can be one of them where. You can we we go through now and we could get the opportunity to play against a massive team and do you know what I mean it's exciting not only for the club but the players we're still like kids do you know what I mean we we'll be watching that draw thinking who we're gonna get who we're gonna get and for me it's one of the greatest competitions in the world and like I say we're just happy that we're in the half for the next round. Personally, any any preference in terms of who you play in the next round? Um, not really, to be honest. Um, like I say, we, we want to go as far as we can, so hopefully, as long as it's a home tie, I think we're, well, we're six unbeaten or something at home, so uh, we won't be fearing anyone um, at, at playing at home and stuff, so hopefully that, that's just the main thing for me.